our fall colors are nearing their peak, so you emailed us asking why leaves change in such strange ways. And you've also wanted to know how Mall of America counts its visitors. Good questions. Here's Heather Brown. Ivy and Kelly in Mrs. Nepple's class at Trimont Elementary were learning about rivers, so they want to know what is the longest in the U.S.? I would say the Mississippi. Pretty sure it's the Mississippi, right? Mississippi. I know you think so, right? It's a great question, girls. Missouri. There you go. Missouri. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> the Missouri River at 2,541 miles beats out the mighty Mississippi at 2,230 miles. But here's the thing. The Missouri River is a tributary of the Mississippi. So when those record books talk about the fourth longest river in the world, they're actually referring to the Missouri Mississippi River. Yet yeah, it is a trick question. Yeah, sorry about that. But since the Mississippi dumps that into the ocean, it takes the name. Carl from Plymouth wanted to know why do maple leaves turn color in different patterns? The top part of the tree is red and the say the bottom part might be green. Yes. The DNR helped me out on this one. They're huge, like ombre. And the color of leaves can be impacted by weather, sunlight, even damage to roots. So the parts of the tree with the shade, they might turn later. Or branches on the tree that are stressed by root damage from things like disease or insects, or even getting impacted by putting a driveway in, those ones are going to turn later as well. And which roots are getting more rain can make a big difference. Mark wants to know, how does the Mall of America calculate how many visitors it gets every year? 40 million. 40 million? Really? I have no idea. How do they count that? They don't have a machine where you put a ticket and say, <laughs> here I am at the mall. Yep. Well, the mall surveys people to ask them how they get here. We drove. I caught the bus over here today. And the walking across the parking lot from the hotel we're in. And how many people are in their party. They use that data along with car counters at the parking ramps to figure out the car traffic. They also monitor the parking occupancy levels and then work with Metro Transit to figure out how many people come on the train or the bus. So I learned something new today. You sure did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Remember, if you have a good question for us, just email it to us by going to wcco.com links.